Hey guys, I'm back out here in my garage and I'm working on a mock-up of the uh, new plywood CNC design I'm, I'm working on. Uh, I mentioned that in uh, on the Saturday night show. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in another video or not. I may have, but anyway, I'm working on some plans for a new, improved uh, plywood CNC design. This one is going to be a lot simpler, a lot cleaner, a lot easier to assemble. Uh, and, uh, you know, as you can see, there's, uh, you know, of course, you've got the gantry sides. Uh, this is going to have a double rail. And, again, none of this is permanent. It's all just clamped on here where I can just kind of see how it's going to do. So you'll have a rail here. You're going to have uh, double rails back here. Uh, but all these cuts right here, really this whole box part, is just going to be simple cuts that you can make with a regular table saw. So uh, nothing fancy. Uh, no down nuts, none of that stuff. It's going to be really easy to assemble. Uh, and the best part about this is, I know from the past, I always got people that wanted me to cut their parts for them. Uh, well, this time, because there's not going to be as many parts that really are that critical, uh, you know, I've got the two gantry sides, the Z box here, a front and rear Z plate, uh, and a few other little small parts. Uh, I will be offering those as kits. Uh, and I'll have the plans made for two different sizes. Probably a, uh, well for sure, a 48 wide table. That way you can take a full sheet of plywood, cut it off however long you want, and make your table that wide. Uh, and probably another one maybe 40 inches wide, something like that. Uh, but again, this one's going to be really easy to modify and make it wider because you're going to be cutting these yourself on a table saw, so uh, everything else, uh, you know, if, you know, you can either make yourself or you can uh, get get the kit from me either way. Uh, this particular one I've got set up on this, I'm going to use this old frame, and the rails on the side are a little different, so I can already tell I'm going to have to customize this one and make uh, some sides probably two to three inches taller, but. Uh, you know, on a regular table, the table design is probably not going to change that much. The only thing I am going to change is I'm making now, before I had uh, this, the Z rails and the uh, X rails were all three quarter by three quarter by one eighth angle. Uh, and then the, the table rails were one inch by one inch by uh, one eighth angle. Well, I'm just going to make them all three quarter. That way you don't have to buy two different kinds of angle. That just makes a whole lot more sense. So. Table design will be basically the same as it was. No need to, to change that a whole lot. Um, but anyway, I guess that's going to be it. I just want to get on here real quick, talk about uh, these plans. I hope to have them uh, available within the next week or two. Uh, I hope I'd like to have them done by this weekend, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it or not because uh, there is a lot of. If you've seen my plans, you know there's a lot of detail. Uh, a lot of work goes into, uh, you know, telling you about every net, washer, eager, bearing, all that stuff. So, very, very detailed plans, and it takes a while to do that. So, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate all my new subscribers. And if you haven't tuned in to the CNC with Dave show on Saturday night, check us out. Uh, we're going to be talking about Mach 3 settings uh, this Saturday, and that's uh, Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time immediately following the Let's Talk Shop with Russ show that starts at 8. Uh, Russ's show runs from 8 to 9 and then we're right after that starting at 9 to 10-ish, uh, however long we go. So if you got any questions about Mach 3, you want to come by and check that out. So anyway, thanks for watching guys and we'll talk to you next time.